Everyone knows that taking their pet to the veterinarian for vaccines is important. But did you know that how and where your pet lives has an impact on what vaccines you need? And things have changed in this whole area of science. Just like our children, vaccinating our pets helps to keep them healthy and living a longer life. However, vaccination is a medical procedure and there are risks associated with it. After about four decades of routine vaccinations for pets, recent events have changed the way many veterinarians are approaching the science of vaccinations. Vaccines help to protect us by stimulating the immune system with weakened or killed bacteria and viruses. Weakened live viruses can sometimes cause the disease they're trying to prevent. And the killed viruses often need an extra chemical called an adjuvant to help the vaccine work properly. It is these adjuvants that some scientists believe may be the culprit in causing some of the problems. Because vaccines are vitally important to our pet's health, veterinary researchers were soon developing a vaccine that would give good protection, but avoid the inflammation caused by adjuvants. A leading animal health company, Marielle, has developed a different type of vaccine called a recombinant vaccine. This vaccine uses small pieces of the DNA of the disease-causing virus inserted into a different type of virus. This type of vaccine does not require an adjuvant. And since the recombinant vaccines are not made with the disease-causing virus itself, there's no chance of causing the disease we're trying to prevent. Yet recombinant vaccines result in excellent protection from disease. These new vaccines offer an exciting new alternative to previous types of vaccine technology. Better protection with less inflammation is definitely something that'll have tails wagging around the world. Vaccinations aren't routine anymore. They need to be carefully chosen for your pet's environment and risk factors. And your veterinarian is the only one who should be advising you on this. I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys reporting.